Welcome to Electron Online. On this video and the next several more videos after this, we're going to learn how to reduce rational expressions to their lowest terms. Notice we have something complicated in the numerator and something complicated in the denominator. But the idea here is that we want to factor the numerator, we want to factor the denominator, and then see if there's any common factors between the numerator and the denominator that we can cancel out. All right, let's try that. So, first of all, we can see that the numerator can be written as x squared times the product of two binomials. That's, of course, assuming that this can be factored, and I think it can be. So, let's try that. So, instead of writing x squared minus 3x minus 18, we're going to write it as a product of two binomials, which means we're going to write it in its factored form. We start out by writing an x there and an x there, because x times x gives us x squared. Notice with the sign here, if this is negative, the only way to get a negative 18 here is if one of these numbers is negative and another one of the numbers is positive, because only you can get only a negative number when you multiply a negative and a positive number together. So now we're looking for two numbers. When I multiply them together, I get a negative 18, and when I add them together, I get a negative 3. That means the numbers are 3 apart from one another, like 5 and 8, or 6 and 9, or 7 and 10, and so forth. But when I multiply, I get 18. When I add, I get 3. How about 6 and 3? 6 times 3 is 18. And a negative 6 and a positive 3 together is a negative 3. Right? So I need a bigger number is a negative. So negative 6 and positive 3. Negative 6 times 3 is a negative 18. Negative 6 plus 3 gives me, or I should say, a negative 6x. And a plus 3x gives me a negative 3x. So that's the proper or the correct factored form. In the denominator, notice I have this minus this. So I have two terms here. I need to factor out whatever is common out of the two terms. I can factor out an x, and I can factor out the quantity x plus 3. So in the denominator, I get x times x plus 3. And let's see what's left. On the left side, I have an x left, and I have a quantity x plus 3 squared left, because I only factor out an x plus 3 to the first power. So this gives me x times x plus 3 squared minus, and here notice that when I factor out an x and an x plus 3, all I have left is a 1. Now notice that I can begin to simplify already, because here I have an x times an x plus 3 times this quantity right here. And here I have an x squared times an x minus 6 times an x plus 3. As long as these things are multiplied together, I can start simplifying or factoring or reducing. So I can divide the denominator by x, and I can divide the numerator by an x. So instead of x squared, I have x, and here I have a 1. Here I have an x plus 3 and an x plus 3. This cancels out, becomes a 1, and this cancels out, becomes a 1. So when I do that, I have the following remaining. I end up with an x times an x minus 6 in the numerator, and in the denominator, I end up with what's over here, which is an x times an x plus 3 quantity squared minus 1. Now, we're not quite done yet, because perhaps we can factor the denominator even more. So I'm going to do that by multiplying this together, and then subtracting 1 from it, and then see if I end up with something I can factor so I can simplify things even more. So this can be written as x times x minus 6 in the numerator. And in the denominator, I can write this as x times x squared plus 6x plus 9 minus 1. It's not looking very good. I don't think when I multiply all this together that I can factor it out. But let's go ahead and see what happens. So continuing on over here, the numerator stays as x times x minus 6. And in the denominator, when I multiply this together, I end up with an x cubed plus 6x squared plus 9x minus 1. All right. Let's continue now by, hmm, let's see here. I can group them together. And it should not matter which way I group them together. I can perhaps group them together like this and like this. If I do that, see what I end up with. x times x minus 6 in the numerator. That doesn't change. And here I can factor out an x squared, and I'm left with an x plus 6. 
And here, there's nothing I can factor out, so this becomes a 9x minus 1. And again, it looks like the denominator cannot be factored any further than what I already had. So I can say, I can stop at this point, so that's as far as I want to go, or I can say, well, I like this format better, and I can stop at this point and say, that's the simplest form I can have with this particular problem. So I'll just leave it like that and say, it doesn't look like in factored denominator anymore, and that's as far as I can go with the problem. And that's how we do that.